Prislin with a pull up three pointer. It's good. Dickert open from three point land. Good. Wood gets a screen from Went and nails a three. Lightman with a pull up J. Nails it. Ricky bank shot good. Winner for three. Got it. Intercepted and laid off the glass. Deep shot from the side is up and good. Risberg's two point a shot is in. Splits for the fence and scores with two seconds to go. We're at the University of Wisconsin Sheboygan Gymnasium where the Wombats are getting ready to take on Waukesha Tech. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin and joining me as usual is the coach. Uh, Sheboygan's got their hands full tonight, Chris. Yeah, 0-4 so far and uh, as you talk to the coach from Waukesha Tech and talk to Coach Mike Seafeld at uh, UW Sheboygan here, uh, this is a pretty good program here in Waukesha Tech. They come in three and one. Wombats, you mentioned, are 0 and four, but they have some familiar names on their roster. Yeah, they got a couple of kids from uh, Oostburg, Luke Mills and Brian Simlick. And the one problem they have here, you know, for those of you who have never watched this type of basketball before, this is a two-year school, and uh, you get kids that are coming in for the first year and to develop into a program and get to play with each other might take a little longer than, you know, maybe a four-year school. Mike told me before the game that even though they're 0 and four, they are getting better. Uh, one thing on the downside for Sheboygan, the high scorer for Waukesha Tech doesn't even doesn't even start. His name is uh, Eric Bullock. Yeah, they got three guys returning from last year. They got 40 points back in their lineup. But one thing Coach Seafelt's always had, as we've seen him play over the years, is they always seem to play good defense. Let's see if they can hold them down tonight. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and a tip-off for tonight's game. So stay tuned, everybody. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. Across the country, Americans are rolling up their sleeves to help each other. Showing true strength of character and kindness and compassion, spirit and enthusiasm. Together, we make America strong. Find out how you can serve, no matter where you are in life, at nationalservice.org. It's your world. It's your chance to make it better. Apply online at nationalservice.org and answer the president's call to service. Starting lineups, they're announcing uh, Waukesha Tech. It's Joe Kalu, number three, David Smutty, number 21, Ben Fisher, 23, Zach Watson, 33, and Caleb Zavachin, number 50. From Sheboygan. Yeah, homeschooled here in Sheboygan. I told uh, Mike Seafell he must have slipped through the cracks. <laughs> Tom Desitel didn't get a hold of him. <laughs> Starting for Sheboygan will be number 11, Kyle Korf. Number 25, Matt Seaver. 31, Luke Mills. 41, Ron Rakowski. And number 45, Ryan Simulink. Simulink, a uh, familiar name, along with Mills, two uh, Oostburg players who uh, played for their respective high schools. Were uh, very good players. And my nephew's on the squad here too, Ryan Rush from Sheboygan Lutheran. Played last year for uh, Todd Decker. Our officials tonight, uh, Tom Hunick and Don Green, uh, longtime officials. There you see Don, uh, pardon me, Tom Hunick. 
I guess they didn't want to break a camera. There's Don. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Don Green is in the Wisconsin Baseball uh, High School Hall of Fame. He's won a ton of games at Random Lake. I think he uh, had his last season last year. At least as a teacher. I think it was as a coach, too. Had a couple of his baseball games. As an umpire. Sheboygan controls the tap. Luke Mills was jumping center. With the ball is Seaver. He takes a long shot, it's off, no good. Rebounded by Waukesha, Tex, Ben Fisher. Waukesha Tech, their nickname is the Owls. Sheboygan playing a zone. Long three-point attempt is off, no good. Rebound goes to Rakowski. Waukesha Tech was in a man-to-man -man defense and the turnover is on Sheboygan for three seconds in the lane. Oh, looks like a little type of a press there. So zone, one, two, two. See if they fall back into their zone. Looks like they're doing that. Trying to get the corner, but throwing it away was Joel Kalul. Kalu, pardon me. 31 is Luke Mills. He was a good one over at Oostburg. And Brian Simlick, seen him get to play over the years for Coach Brunig. Setting up the offense is uh, Kyle Korf. Kyle Korf was a, comes from a long line of course from Sheboygan Falls. Sheboygan uh, having a real hard time getting their offense set, Chris. Yeah, they're really kind of pushing them out is what they are, Marty, you're exactly right. They seem to be pushing their guard play out and out with the pressure defense. Well, if they're running, the, there you see Mike Seafield the back anyway. But if they're running the same offense they've run in other years, you know, they, they like to do that little, uh, I think it's called a shuffle cut along the baseline, and uh, we haven't seen any of that so far in their two possessions. Yep, curl cuts, almost, old, almost like flex cuts. That's what I was looking for, a flex cut. I'm still thinking off tackle. <laughs> Tossing it in is uh, Brian Simlink. He gets it into uh, Korf. Jump shot is off by Seaver. Cheboygan gets the rebound, Rakowski. <coughs> Good scrap on the floor by Rakowski to get the ball. Simlink has it inside and puts it up and in. First points of the game. Our by Sheboygan, they lead it two to nothing with 18-10 uh, remaining in the first half. Second one, three, one. Waukesha Tech's gonna want some flashers in here and quick ball movement. Or you can backstream the bottom guy too. That's a good way to get easy shots. Long shot by Watson is off. Well, definitely when the other team has more talent than you, you want to slow the game down and uh, playing a zone, I guess, would help do that. Bad Stolen turnover. away by Kalu, and then he throws it away, trying to get it to uh, Smoothie. Kalu is from Australia. They have one from Australia on their team. That's a long way away. No kidding. It's morning over there. <laughs> Tomorrow. There was that little uh, cut along the baseline. Simlink shot from about 16 is off, no good. Smoothie with the rebound. Watson again from outside, throws it away. Uh, shot goes out of bounds and then it's uh, off of Simlink. Zavachin, number 50, is that Sheboygan kid. He and Simlink were battling for the board. Watson again, the guy's not bashful. Just can't seem to find it yet, but uh, I'm sure. Huh? He's found his shot, hasn't he? 
Well, tried to get a pass there, but it didn't work. We won't count that as a shot. That's just a turnover. Yeah, I agree. Ooh, there's a carry. Actually carried it twice, Kalu did. Green had him on the first carry, but uh, he's such a quick dribbler, he carried it again. Here comes that one, three, one half court trap. Good job of passing it to the corner. And yeah, Mike Seafeld was all over that, reminding his team what to do. Shot is up and good by Mills. A three pointer. Five to nothing, Sheboygan. Right off the bench taking a shot was Brian Hillis and his shot is off, no good. Shot by Korf is off, rebound by Rikowski. And setting up the offense is Seaver. Korf with his 18 footer is off. Rebound goes to Fisher. He drives it hard to the basket. A shot is blocked. And then Waukesha Tech gets it right back. I tell you, Sheboygan working very hard on the boards, Chris. Yep. We're at 15.35 remaining in the first half. It's five to nothing, Sheboygan. Mills Leap and Leaner is off, no good. Neither team can really shoot well right now, Marty. Well, Waukesha Tech is showing very, very little patience trying to get the ball inside. Anything open from 20, and they're gunning it right up there. There's a, whoop, I was gonna say, here comes another nice Hillis pass. Hillis with a good no-look pass, and the shot is up and good by Fisher, or put in, pardon me, by Smooty. And they're gonna give him the basket. Thought for a minute he was in there for a long time. Ball is on Mills, his first, first team foul. A good rotation on the free throw, but it wouldn't go down. Comes that trap again, Marty. Korf on the catch and shoot, he's got it. Kyle Korf, seven to two Sheboygan with 15 minutes remaining. No look pass by Hillis is intercepted by Mills. Seaver trying to go hard to the basket. Got it inside to Rakowski, but he couldn't get the shot off. Korf is open from outside the line. His shot is no good. Tipped out of bounds by Waukesha Tech. Jason Mentink in. Spoygan Christian. And Brandon Schmall. Elkhart Lake. We see Korf having a seat. And Rakowski. Rakowski with a good start, three rebounds. Menting a hard-nosed player from what I remember last year at Christian. Yep. Going with the no sock look. I think Jason Mentink's gonna get called for the foul. Sheboygan was turned the ball over but got back on defense quite well. Foul is on Mentink and going to the line to shoot two is Joel Kalu. There you see the replay. Yep. That's a hard foul. Just caught him on the arm. Here's a young man from Australia. Shot is off, no good. Bullock, number four, and Durr, number 30, checking in. You know, if I'm uh, Coach Hartman, I wish I could go and recruit to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of budget does he have for recruiting? <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> I think that's more than my wife budget budgets me for a week of spending. <laughs> One out of two, Marty, make it seven to three. Yeah, and, and Waukesha Tech has only made one out of three free throws. Half court trap being set up by Waukesha Tech is broken easily enough and getting the wide open jump shot is Brandon Schmall. Good passing, wide open guy there, and as you said, got the jumper to fall there. 
Well, ball I thought was almost out of bounds, but then Don Green does blow it out of bounds. Fred Durr on the drive lost it. Waukesha Tech setting up the half court trap. And then committing the foul was uh, Brian Hillis. That'll be Waukesha Tech's first foul of the game. Simlink gonna toss it in for Sheboygan. Gets it to Seaver. Around and out, and then back down. Seaver got it to go. 12 to three. Outside shot is up and good by Kalu. A three pointer. 12 to six. Well, just like that, the scoring's coming up plenty. That's not where you want to be. Mills taking it to that boot, and he's got it. A little running one hander. Waukesha Tech pushing. Timeout, Waukesha Tech. 30-second timeouts. We better keep it here, Scott. Uh, Sheboygan's uh, been doing quite a job. Yeah, so far. A few too many turnovers, but a, a cold spell for Waukesha Tech to get them started. Uh, I don't think that's going to be that way all night, but uh, I think breaking that little uh, half-court press up here is going to be uh, key for uh, Sheboygan County. I think uh, it looks like once they get it broken, they're gonna have uh, some open jump shots, not necessarily for layups, but uh, if you can hit your 12 or 13 footers, you could be uh, earning interest at the bank. Yep. Of course, uh, Mills on his little one-hander didn't use the bank that time. No. Nope. Fisher has it for uh, Waukesha Tech. Kalu's outside jumper is no good. Nice bounce pass inside to Bullock. His shot is up and in. That was uh, Brian Hillis making the pass. A no look pass. Nice pass. Seaver. Here you see it. Look at this. Dump it right down there and then get the foul on Seaver. One of the. Uh, Ford second year players out here. High arching free throw is no good by Bullock. And again, uh, Waukesha Tech not very successful at the line. Mills long jump shot is no good. Not much patience shown by Sheboygan on that one. Layup is up and in by Durr. Well, they look good on that, that exchange. Rebound, outlet, and go. And they're down the floor with an easy one. I think that uh, just bears out the importance of running the offense and uh, running a little bit of clock. Similink trying to get the bounce. Maybe got the, fouled. Yeah, off the backboard is no good. Clue got the pass from Bullock, but then he tr shuffled his feet before he put it to the floor, and it's a turnover on Waukesha Tech with 12.25 remaining in the first half. Sheboygan's lead is cut to four, it's 14 to 10. Well, Kalu averaged 18 points and five assists last year. So you know that's the guy you're gonna see shooting and he, like you say, he's kind of cold right now, just one for three. Mills loses the ball trying to take it down the lane. Jump shot by Bullock is no good. And then taking it away from Kalu was Durr and his shot rolled off, Sheboygan has it back. No kick called on Hillis, come on, guys. Well, behind the back pass rolls up Kalu's back and then it goes out of bounds. So Sheboygan has it back again and it's uh, many, many turnovers. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't keep down. up. Can't keep up. I have six turnovers, for, well, we're gonna take a timeout, Marty. And it's a full timeout. We'll take a timeout and be right back with the score. Sheboygan 14, Waukesha 10. Having twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. 
They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? Properly inflating my tires burns less fuel and saves me money on gas. Yeah, I'm saving Mother Nature from pollution, but more importantly, she saved me 11 bucks. Ow! Environmental Defense, get green. Oh, that's why I was missing a point, Chris. I had Seaver for a two-pointer instead of a three. Now I got him at 14. Should have asked me. Oh, I didn't know you were doing that. <laughs> I thought you were worried more about the rebounds and uh, turnovers and stuff. <clears throat> well, six turnovers apiece, I was going to say before the break, that's way too many for both teams and just uh, eight minutes of play. Let's see if it gets cleaned up a little bit here. Quaterius Gaines, number 25, is in for uh, Waukesha Tech. Mentink has it. Seaver trying to take it inside, can't. Shot clock down to 10. Seaver open from 20, off no good. Waukesha Tech's Brian Hillis with the rebound. Waukesha Tech setting up the uh, offense. Gaines shuffled his feet, not called. Watson, three-point attempt is no good. He's fouled after the shot, but no call. Well, one thing they haven't done is set up their half-court trap on a missed basket, Chris, so that might be real important to try and keep them off the board, off the, off the scoreboard to keep from having to break that uh, trap. Shot clock down to five. Mentic loses it. And a turnover. Sheboygan unable to get a shot. Mentic's gotta take better care of the basketball. Checking in for Sheboygan is uh, Ryan Rush, number 13. He's a 5'11 freshman, first year out here at the center. Sheboygan still on his own. Deep jumper by Hillis, off no good. And it's tipped out of bounds. I believe that went off of uh, Brandon Schmall. Tell you what, neither team's afraid to put it up, I'll tell you that. Especially Waukesha Tech. And they shoot from anywhere. That's a good pass. Pass inside, shot is off by Durr. Sheboygan's Mentink has the rebound. They got a little bit of a break if they can push it. But Waukesha Tech gets back in pretty good shape. Pass inside to Rush, his shot is off. Blocked actually, and then it's thrown off of him by Brian Hillis. Gotta give those leapers a little pump fake. Especially down so deep. Watson, over to Hillis. And penetrate and pitch, shot is off, no good. Mentink kicks it up the floor to uh, Similink. No scoring for uh, almost three minutes, Coach. We're at nine minutes, it's 14 to 10. Now Similink puts it up and in. Nice little baby hook here. I think you hit it on the head. What the Owls are trying to do here is basically drive and kick and count on their three-point shooting to get them back in the game here. They're doing a nice job of driving, but they just can't seem to get the uh, Jump shots to fall, that's for sure. They're also doing a nice job of dumping it in the dirt. Bullock with a three-pointer. It's five for him on the night. He leads uh, Waukesha Tech in the scoring department. 
Rush has it. Ball almost tapped away from Similink by Hillis. And taking it hard to the basket is Mills, but his shot is blocked. Watson. Made a nice pass, but that shot went off, and then Brian Similink got the rebound. Rush wanted to drive, but uh, Mills didn't want to move. Kyle Korf is back in the ball game. And I believe checking in for his first action is number 15, Travis Plovar. Plokar, pardon me. Howard Grove. Bad foul. Well, long jump shot by Bullock was not going to go in, and then Rush committed the foul. That peeve of mine. Don't follow a jump shooter. You've heard it over the years. Don't follow a jump shooter. Automatic trip to the bench. Now you get three free throws. Actually, this might not have been bad strategy. <laughs> the way they're not making free throws. Well, he doesn't have good form either. He doesn't follow through. He kind of leans little, back so far. Almost has too much arch. Doesn't follow through, put the hand in the old cookie jar. As yeah, the old really, I noticed that. Oh, that last one was a bad one. We're just wrapping up our uh, basketball unit over at Jefferson. Three on three tournament tomorrow. Fifth grader coming in the gym for an hour. Those kids can shoot better. Than well, that free bullet. throw looked real good. And it went in. One for three trip for Bullock. He has six points. He leads all scorers now. Got to hit the high post there. Korf was caught. Another turnover. Fortunately, oh, a turnover. Rakowski was able to steal it right back. Pass inside to Plokar. He lost it, but then getting it back and shooting it and missing it was Rakowski. Waukesha Tech working the perimeter, and then Kalu penetrating. Fisher's shot from outside the line is way off. Well, Waukesha Tech slowly but surely creeping right back in. They're only down two, it's 16 to 14. Well, they've just had a miserable half. You would think they'd be pretty happy about things right now with seven minutes left. Well, I'll bet if you talk to coach uh, Bill Scooter Hartman, he wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, considering you're only down two points, considering how poor your team has played. Sieber is fouled by uh, Bullock. Eric Bullock, that's his uh, first foul, and only the second team foul on Waukesha Tech. Simlink with a 13-footer, no good. And then over the back is uh, Ben Fisher. Caleb Zavachin, number 50, back in for Waukesha. Caleb averaged 11 points to nine boards a year ago. Lukar inside to Rakowski, and then he has it stripped away. Zavachin tipped it away. Watson is uh, chucked going down the lane by Similink. Now you said he did play football, right? Yes. <laughs> that was a football player right there. Right well, there. he played a little basketball too. Did very well. First foul on Brian Similink. Fifteen foul on Sheboygan. Fred Durr, pair of free throws. That's pretty good form. And really good results.
Red Dirt pops in a pair, and we're all tied at 16 with 6.35 and counting. Corp shot is good from 13. I was just gonna say it's been a, two points over the last about six minutes for Sheboygan. That was a much needed hoop to kind of get the uh, cobwebs out. Yeah, I was gonna say. Watson shot is off again, no good. But Waukesha Tech gets it back. Fisher shot is off, no good. Uh, they've had some pretty bad luck, Coach. They've, they've had a couple of good looks, and they just can't get it to go down. And then Plokar being pressured in the corner shuffles his feet. Well, Fred Durr is checking out, and he had a, a real good stint that last uh, about seven or eight minutes. Good job of breaking the press by the Owls. You know he's gonna shoot. Kalu's shot is no good. Coming out of it with it is Seaver. Shots are tough to come by as the Owls really scramble onto the Wombats. Simulink looking for the shot, throws up a runner, it's good. Six points for Brian Simulink, he leads Sheboygan. That's just a good job of knowing where the players are on your team there by Waukesha Tech. Kalu pushed by Simulink, his shot is off, no good. Rebound by Rakowski. A well-timed little push by Brian Simlink threw uh, Kalu off. Nice screen there by him, too. There's that little flex cut, Marty. Plokar's shot is off, no good. Simlink's tap is no good. And then a big fight for the board, and uh, there's the jump ball called. And uh, possession arrow points Waukesha's way, so they'll get it. Fisher pressure, pushing the ball up. Shot is up and good by Zavachin. A three point basket. Sheboygan still on top, but it's 20 to 19. Seaver trying to take it down the lane. He's fouled. Ben Fisher committing his second foul. Car's pass is into Seaver. Waukesha Tech in a zone. Seaver's shot is in and out, no good. Here they come. Hillis, a uh, little too nonchalant on that one, Chris. And he throws it out of bounds. You know, when they first kicked it down the floor, it looked like it should have been an easy layup. Yep. <laughs> 3.50 remaining in the first half. Sheboygan on top, 20 to 19. Mike Martin along with the coach, Chris Wright, bringing you tonight's ball game. Polkar's shot is blocked. Just too slow. Gotta get there. Taking Locked. it hard to the basket was David Smooty, and he's followed by Seaver. And uh, I'll tell you, Seaver took the worst of that. Yep. For Matt, that's his second foul. Smooty had a three-point attempt uh, earlier in the game. He missed his uh, free throw. He'll have two more now. Sheboygan has yet to attempt a free throw. Yeah. 
Waukesha Tech getting ready to attempt their 11th free throw. They've made five out of 10 so far. Waukesha Tech goes up by one, 21 to 20. First lead of the game for them, huh? Yep. They did tie it at 16. They just have live hands, Marty. Very. And takes pass over to Corp. And then he's gonna get called for traveling as he tried to roll over and get possession of it, the ball. 13 turnovers so far for the Wombats. And Waukesha Tech's right back up the floor. Jump shot is up and good by Dan Sturtz, his first two Walt points of the game. Nobody in the middle. There's an easy one. Got to explode. Kowski's shot is off, no good. They had the press broken, got a nice easy shot, but couldn't get the, couldn't get it to go. Sturtz's pass in the middle is kicked away by Sheboygan. Waukesha Tech will keep it. Moody and Hillis come out. Durr and Bullock come in. Shot is off, no good. Rebounded by Rakowski. Jason Mentink has it. Oh, taken right away by Ben Fisher. Not a, oh, there's a travel by Zavachin. Not a good job of protecting the ball underneath by Sheboygan. No, and uh, Jason Mentick, I got five turnovers for him. That's just way too many. He's the point guard, and it's way too many for any position. With a little luck, we'll go through this entire game without five turnovers. <laughs> I don't know about that. Mills trying to get the baseline. Now he's triple teamed and has it stolen away. Whoa, watch out, boys. Don't get anybody hurt. Well, I'll tell you, you get slapped at enough as Sheboygan is, and the officials aren't calling it. They're gonna give some good fouls on the other end, and I think that was just a little frustration foul. Fisher's gonna shoot a pair. You get a good shot of Ben. But on the other side, as a Sheboygan player, you gotta get those elbows up in a nice stance and be strong with the ball instead of letting it stick out there so the guys can grab it. Well, I think that's an excellent point, Coach, because uh, Sheboygan has displayed some real poor technique on pivoting, you know, and keeping the ball tight to your chest. You know, if you're strong with the ball and they're slapping at you, you're gonna get those calls. Horf has it, and then he loses it out of bounds. 25 to 20 with 148 remaining. Sheboygan held the lead. All the way down, it was 20 to 19 with about 350 left. And uh, from that point on, Waukesha Tech has held Sheboygan scoreless and has put six points on the board. And out of those six, I think uh, four of them have been uh, from the line. Bullock shot is off the board, no good. Korf has it. Good trap. I was gonna say Waukesha Tech is extremely quick. Korf shot from downtown is no good. Save, mentix has got it. Nice save by Sheboygan's Carl Gruby. Bullock taking it hard to the basket, lays it up and in. 
Bullock with eight points. Leads all scorers in the game. 27 to 20, stolen away by Kalu. He lays it up and in. Committing the push was Dan Sturtz. Only uh, five fouls on Waukesha. You see Jack Schneider, longtime coach, teacher, and athletic director out here at the center. There's a prince of a guy. Yep. Longtime coach is right. Pass inside to Gruby. His five footer is off. Bullock blocked from the basket, then taking it hard to the hoop and throwing up that hook shot was Corey Dahl. They're getting contributions from everybody. Mills almost has it tipped away. Mentic from outside the line. Bango. And that ends the half. Waukesha Tech 31, Sheboygan 23. There's a new experience around every corner as you discover Wisconsin. like you've never seen before. I build schools. I battle injustice. I eradicate landmines. I feed the hungry. I shape international policy. I protect children. I fight for human rights. I find homes for refugees. I dig wells. I develop a comedy. I teach people to read. I influence the president. I heal the sick. I comfort the grieving. I make the world better. I make a difference. I change the world, so can you. Back at Sheboygan where uh, the Wombats are trailing Waukesha Tech by a score of 31 to 23. And a uh, couple of uh, interesting stats, Chris, regarding that first half, especially on the turnover side. Yeah, 17 turnovers for UW Sheboygan and a half. And uh, we were talking at halftime, they said that they're averaging over 30 a game and that's way too many. Uh, 10 for 31 shooting for Sheboygan County. Uh, eight for 32 for Waukesha Tech, but they were just three for 15. The big difference is free throws, huh, Marty? Waukesha Tech has attempted uh, 13 free throws. They popped in eight of them. Sheboygan on the flip side has not attempted a free throw yet in the ball game. And a 30 second timeout right away by Sheboygan and uh, they didn't look good from the outset, coach. No. Nobody knew who was gonna take the inbounds pass. No. You come out at halftime and Try to rejuvenate, you hit the three-pointer at the end of the first half, which I believe Matt Seaver hit, correct? Oh, that was uh, uh, Jason Mentink. Oh yeah, Mentink right hit game. that three and got you back within eight and you come out within the first 20 seconds. There you do it again, another turnover and let's see if we can start start fresh again. The big see, thing was with about three 350 left, they were up by uh, 20 to 19 and only scored uh, you know, on that three-point shot by Mentink. And, uh, over, well over three minutes of action. Well, I thought the last 10 minutes they only scored about six points. Simulink from outside, bangs home a three-pointer and a good start for Sheboygan here in the second half. Three for 10 from three-point line in the first half, so that makes them four for 11. Is what I figure with math. Savachin's uh, pass inside to uh, Smoothie is uh, knocked out of bounds. Waukesha Tech keeps it. Kalu with a pump fake and then shoots it and draws nothing but air. Another miss from three point land. Yeah, they were three for 15. 
Nice inside pass. Seaver to Rakowski for an easy two. 31 28, Sheboygan down only three. It's got to stop here. Oh, how about an offensive? Savachin with an offensive foul. Good call, coach. It's going to say, let's get a stop here and I'll get a hoop on the other end and you're right back to even and can forget about the uh, last 11 minutes. See how they handle this press. Watson inside to Kalu. He pulls it out. Zavachin's soft jumper doesn't go down. And Sheboygan gets the rebound. One thing Sheboygan has done a pretty good job of today is not allowing second sh shots. Oh, flurry of turnovers. Waukesha Tech displaying a good quickness. And Sheboygan doing the same. Seavers jumper is good and he's fouled. We're all tied up. Watson committing the foul, and Sheboygan will get their first free throw attempt of the ball game with 18.08 uh, remaining. So 21 minutes and 52 seconds into the game, Seaver misses a free throw. Tied at 31. A walk Watson. No good again. Mills with the rebound. A oh, good lead feed to Simulink. His shot is off, no good, and he's fouled. Well, I think it got into their head that they haven't got free throws yet, the officials that is. First half, Waukesha Tech took forever to get started, and again, a very slow start for them. And coach uh, Bill Hartman Well, if you're going to get to the line, Marty, you got to make them. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> it is called a free throw, isn't it? Good oh, rotation, boy. but bounces hard off the iron. And we're still tied at 31. Waukesha Tech working the perimeter. Kalu's shot from at the top of the key is no good. And tapping it out was Moody and uh, Waukesha Tech got it back. Well, in the first half, Watson would have had that one gone. But instead, the pass inside to Smoody is complete and his shot is no good, but he was hammered on the head. Ryan Simulink commits the foul, his second. So I was wondering how many fouls he had. Can't lose a player like Big Brian. Simulink early in the second half with fouls. Now you look at him, coach. He's got little feet for that big body. Second free throw by Smoody is up and Waukesha Tech is back on top, 32 to 31, with 7-12 remaining. Mills triple teamed. Seaver around the Simulink screen, his shot misses everything. Seaver gets the board, puts our the rebound, puts it up and in. Good hustle there by Mills. Mills saved it. Tipped it back, Simile got it and put it up and in. They're not calling much underneath there with the big boys. No, I think uh, both officials want to get home and watch that Monday night game. Kalu, no good. And over the back is Caleb Zavachin and he commits his second personal foul. And that's a fourth team foul on Waukesha Tech already. Kalu is just one for nine I have unofficially. And seven of those are threes. He's one for seven from three. He just can't find the uh, basket here in Sheboygan. Uh, 
Oh, Mentek's pass is intercepted, and then uh, Hillis commits an obvious turnover after intercepting the pass. I hope you got a lot of ink in your pen, because I'm not using up this uh, my pen very much on the scoring part. Well, first, another fault. You never get yourself in that corner. We always used to call that the no-no corner. Right here, Mills is almost in the no-no corner here. You want to use the back line like he is right now, and he's pinned in there, and you just. Mikulski gets it over to Seaver. I think they're looking for an over and back there. Seaver's running one-hander is up and in, and uh, Sheboygan may have caught a break on that over and back. You know what they do is they walk themselves right into that trap too. They got to stay behind, stay in the center of the floor, and stay behind midcourt. Don't walk yourself into it. Lob pass by Tadur is uh, his tap is no good. Seaver leading the fast break, but it's two on four. And he pulls it back out. Similink from outside the line. No good. Durr pushing the ball. And then he loses it. And then he pushes Seaver and commits a foul. Durr doing a little high stepping, but it didn't work that time. Now here we go again. Looked a little bit like uh, Greg Rush on that one. But you almost would rather have the two guys. There, there you see it. <laughs> he pushed Thiever down trying to get the ball back. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it though. Yeah, stay, stay wide in the middle floor. Not right there, not right there. That's much better though. Nice pass inside. Mills to Rakowski for an easy two. That time the plan worked. Yeah, because Mills kind of looped behind. Luke Mills. 37-32, but Bullock's high arching three-pointer is no good. Simulink with the board. I got eight rebounds for Simulink. Seaver open from outside in the corner. Shot no good. Good hustle. Oh, yeah. Take it again, Seaver. Mills going hard. And he's fouled. Way to get to the basket. Second foul on Durr. And that's the uh, sixth team foul on Waukesha Tech. They had five team fouls the entire first half, coach. Only problem with this free throw line is Sheboygan is 0 for 3. Wow. Well, Waukesha Tech is 0 for their first seven here in the second half. No baskets, just a free throw, Marty. Hopefully that'll stay cold for about another five minutes. Finally, the cheerleaders off to my left get Sheboygan to make a free throw. 38-32, <laughs> Sheboygan on top by six. They were down eight at halftime. They were down 11 with about uh, 0.9 of a second remaining when Mentick made a three-pointer as the half ended. And again, one as, shot and out. As we mentioned, Mentick's name, he grabs the rebound off the missed Waukesha Tech shot. Seaver going hard to the hoop, but he's fouled out around the free throw line. Paul is on Sturtz, his first. Here's the ladies, there's Amy Klein. <laughs> Sandy Lebel. Good job, girls. You're getting pretty quiet back there. It's about time you wake up. Might have to stay home from school. It's on one of the afternoons. Yeah, I'll write you a pass. You can get out. <laughs> well, stop. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was just gonna say, Completely different than the first half, getting to the free throw line in the first seven minutes, excuse me, six minutes of the half. Second half here is just huge, but you gotta make them free throws, but make Seaver, a three instead. Bango, he's got it. 41-32, Sheboygan has, I believe, their largest lead of the game. They were up, they were up eight in the first half at 12 to four early on. It's a full timeout, Scott, so let's take a break. I think.
happy. Burn. And we love to make music. Music can help kids learn. Did you know that making music, any music... Like Twinkle Twinkle? All uh, right, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star can help your child with language, reading, and even math. And it's lots of fun, too. To find out how children learn and grow with music, visit www.amc-music.org. And you'll see... Music works wonders. Yeah, it sure does. Athletic competition is all about potential. The opportunity to look inside yourself, to challenge yourself, to be better than you ever dreamed imaginable. Junior achievement is also about dreams and the potential to make those dreams come true. JA's free enterprise education programs help kids say, I can, when everything around them says, we can. Junior achievement, let their potential be your inspiration. There's the old Wombat, and uh, that Waukesha Tech crowd is getting a little anxious over to our right, Chris. Yes, they are, and... Uh, there you see Andy running that up camera. Give him a wave, Andy. <laughs> Too late. Wasn't working hard enough. Obviously, his hand on the rail there. Well, Waukesha Tech has yet to hit a basket here. That's been one of the keys to the... And another miss, and rebounding it for Sheboygan is Brandon Schmall. Seaver taking it hard, Mills. Covered up nicely. Bullock with a dunk. Just so I that doesn't get him fired up, Marty. Well, I was thinking, Coach, you know, if Sheboygan can keep from turning the ball over right. out in the open court, you know, and force uh, Waukesha Tech to run their offense, they stand a much better chance. Good idea there by Schmall, run the back door on them. They play so far aggressive, you gotta attack it, like Mills. There's the kick Whoa. out. The idea was good, the pass was bad. Forty-one thirty-four. Sheboygan on top by seven. We're at uh, 12.53 and counting for the second half. Too wide open, Marty. But still, oh, I was just gonna say one shot now. Ryan Hillis' shot is rebounded by Caleb Zavachin of Sheboygan. But playing for Waukesha Tech. Kalu is fouled by Seaver as he took it hard to the basket. For Matt, that's gonna be his third foul. That could be a key one, coach. Kyle Korf is coming into the game. Didn't start the second half, started the first half. I think, uh, He'll be coming in for uh, Matt Seaver. Uh, I think, I think you're there, Sammy. Again, I reckon you'd be correct. Ex student of mine. And she graduated. <laughs> <laughs> this holy family I had her at. Here we are, Marty. Hey, there's the crew. <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> Nice crowd here tonight, Marty, for a Monday night. Yeah, uh, Waukesha Tech brought a whole slew of people, and uh, the girls played before the guys, and uh, they stuck around. And they won. Yep. No, they lost. Sheboygan won. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, Sheboygan won. They got out of their press here. I don't know if that's the right thing for Waukesha. That's being strong with the well, ball, Kyle. Well, uh, came in, but it wasn't for Seaver, coach. True. Running a little clock here. This is what you like, Marty. Shot clock down to 10. Similink's jumper from 18, no good. Rebound goes to uh, Sturtz of Waukesha. They're down six. Nice pass. Pass inside is good. Bullock to Sturtz for two, and he's fouled. And the wrong guy to foul, too, the hottest shooter on Sheboygan. Matt Seaver picks up number four. Whoa. Jason Minting coming in. Seaver coming out. Starting to whittle away here, Marty. No oh, kidding. Sturtz's free throw, doesn't even hit the rim. Sheboygan up four. 
They were up nine, 41-32. But uh, Waukesha Tech has run off five unanswered points. That's much better. Keep it in the middle, keep it in the middle. There you go. Much better. That's not a good pass, though. That's it. Got a break. Well, pretty good hustle. What, what Sheboygan lacks is the true point guard type. Similink's 12 footers up and in. He's had a huge game today. Has 11 points so far. Halut taking it to the middle. Stops and pops, but no good. One and out. Gotta like it. And Waukesha Tech has uh, really had to. Oh, Alou takes it right away from Mentink and lays it up and in. It's easy basket he's had all day. Oh, well, and he read it too. Mentink getting the ball a little bit too far out in front of him. Oh, there's a slap not called. Shot by Bullock is good. And Sheboygan up 43 to 41. Well, Mentic got a pretty good hack right here in front of us, not called, and it led to a uh, Owls easy shot. Turnovers, Marty. You're right, and uh, you know, I had mentioned earlier that you know you make those turnovers in the open court against a team as quick as this, and they're going to wind up with some pretty easy layups, and uh, one of them did result in a dunk. Nine turnovers. If you can keep in the half court game, they uh, certainly have not been shooting well tonight. There you see the replay. Right here, Mentex is going to get whacked. Right there, you can see it. Right there, he got him twice. Once on the left arm and once on the right. Yeah. Not that we're complaining about the officiating, right, Andy? <laughs> Andy. Andy still got the attendance award. He's got perfect attendance during football and basketball. He'll get that bonus at the end of the year that you and I get, Marty. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, let's see if they can weather the storm here. Nine turnovers to, to, to add to their 17 from the first half. That's way too many. I think all those turnovers are giving Mike uh, more gray hair. Well, he was a pretty good-looking guy when I first met him a few years ago, but you're right. Basketball will do that to you. 10.50 remaining in the ballgame. Sheboygan up two. Good job. That's where they get in trouble. And not strong. They never get it down to the bottom guys. Well, they don't look like they have anybody that can break a double team off the dribble either. To have two low guys and flash one high Ooh, there, you can't cover them both. Because they got three guys trapping. Need it. Shot is off, no good. Schmall, probably a little bit out of his range, I would think. A Kalu on the, what looked like a delayed dribble. Watson still hasn't made a three-pointer. Shot is off. Seven threes attempted, zero for Watson. You gotta get Mills back in the game here. A good steal made by Eric Bullock. And then uh, committing the foul was Sheboygan's Ron Bukowski. You need with Luke Mills is a guy who can kind of slash and drive to the basket, and that's what they kind of need right now. One of these guys who gotta go and tack the basket. I think it was Jason Van Ness from last year. Was their point guard. Seemed to handle the pressure pretty well. Right now, Sheboygan is, is lacking that uh, ball handling guard. Bullock, off no good. Similink with a strong rebound. Mentink breaks the pressure that time. Looking to penetrate, pitch. He's strong. Oh, he had Simlink on the baseline, but couldn't get him the ball. Goes out of bounds. He's got nine turnovers himself. Gotta clean it up. Gotta clean it up. Easy basket there. Just gotta deliver and finish. 
43-41, Sheboygan on top with 9.15 remaining in the ball game. Kalu with a three-pointer. And that the gives Waukesha Tech the lead at 44-43. You got a flash, there he is. Another bad pass. Kalu wants it, he's hot. Way outside the line, goes in and out. And going hard for the rebound was Zavachin, but uh, he went over the back of Similink. Commits his third foul of the first of the second half. Similink will go to the line shooting a pair. Kalu three for 13. Well, now they really need to start making their free throws. That was important before. Now it's critical. Yeah, they're bringing Seaver back in the game here. Just eight minutes left. Well, he's pretty got much a, was the offense. It's at least was that spark they needed. He's got 10 points here in the second half, 13 for the game. And uh, you know what you try to do here is try to get the lead back with him there, and then maybe you can take him out later and kind of just watch it. Nice shot of uh, Ryan Simlink. <laughs> 51. Kyle Groovy back in from Howard's Grove, 6'6 kid. Hopefully won't be needed here because it'll go through the hoop. And it does. And Sheboygan back on top by one with 8.50 remaining in the ball game. Sheboygan in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Hillis with a scoop shot, it's up and in. That's his first two points of the ball game. Swing. Go. And take the Similink and he pops it in. Nine points for uh, Similink in the second half, 15 in the ball game. Trying to swing in here to Durr. Inside pass, shot is blocked, taken out by Seaver. Sheboygan up one. Pass inside to Plokar, his shot is, or pardon me, to Gruby, his shot is no good, he's fouled. Ball goes on Fred Durr, his third. Durr's from Milwaukee, Vincent. First year player. Ruby's shot bounces hard off the iron. Sheboygan has only made three out of nine free throws. Make it four out of 10. Just under eight minutes remaining in the ball game. Sheboygan up 48-46. Jump shot is off, no good. But Kalu comes out with it. Inside to Durr. Tough. Went hard to the basket, but had it tipped away, actually was fouled. Fall is on Mentink. That was probably a good fall, I would think, Coach. Yep. Could have finished there. Durr was two for two in the first half. See Mike Seafelt there, you can just see the uh, wheels turning in the head. He's going to be in double bonus next time, though. That'll help the free throw situation if you can, don't have to make that first one. Waukesha Tech is at nine falls, so uh, the next one will put Sheboygan into the double bonus, as uh, Chris mentioned. Good job. That was the best they broke in the press. And there you get Luke Mills going to the basket. I mean, that's what you want. Pass, pass, go to the basket, Luke. Gosh, that was easy. And that's not a bad idea getting Simlick up high, too, in the high post. It's going to take a pretty strong guy to get the ball from him. That's for sure. Mills puts it in. Sheboygan back on top by one. 
And timeout, Waukesha Tech with 7.27 remaining. Sheboygan, 49, Waukesha Tech, 48. And uh, that press breaker is all important, and Sheboygan ran it uh, really great the last time. Yeah, and they're going to have to finish that all the way, even when I knew when they were up earlier in the second half here that the uh, one thing they had to finish was completing a break that press. And a little better that time, but we need that for another seven minutes, Marty. You watch him break the press like that, and you say to yourself, where in the heck has that been all game? You know, it's another thing. They didn't put the ball on the floor much either. They didn't dribble the ball. They passed it through the press. What a difference that makes. Well, I think that's been part of the problem when they get caught on the sideline is they stand there with the ball, wait to get doubled, and sometimes even triple teamed before they try to get rid of it. And by that time, you know, you're in a world of hurt. You got to get rid of it a little sooner. Gonna have to make a whole lot more free throws down the stretch here if you're gonna win this ball game, though, Wombats. Kalu going hard to the basket is cut off. Good defense by Sheboygan. Good job, good light hands. Trying to force the ball inside was Brian Hillis. But, uh, Corey Dahl not able to get it as Gruby tipped it out. Just gonna say, Marty, all of a sudden the Owls aren't kind of penetrating and moving as quickly as they were before. They're kind of sitting flat. Durr had it inside and he lost it. Mills going down Main Street, yep. dishes it off. But there's a foul before on the pass. Committing the foul was Fred Durr, his fourth. Just what you want to do there, get to the basket. Good job there by Luke Mills again. Mills has made his last three. He'll have two more. Okay. Looking good. Zavachin, Fisher, and Bullock come in for Waukesha Tech. For Sheboygan, we have Seaver, Mentink, Mills, Gruby, and Similink in the ball game. Mills can't get that second one to go. It's 51-48, Sheboygan by three. Wow. Shot by Fisher, no good. Mills, Shot good put. timing, but he couldn't control it. Another outside jumper, this time by Hillis. And he's got the three-pointer. We're tied at 51. 6.30 remaining in a ball game. There he is. Take it. Nice little touch. Ooh, couldn't get it to go. Good fight by Brian Simelink. It's a jump ball. Possession arrow goes to Waukesha Tech. Carl Gruby coming out and coming in is uh, Ron Rakowski. Jump shot is no good. Rebound by Mills. Uh, pardon me, Rakowski. Just an outstanding job on the offensive board, or defensive board, excuse me, for uh, the Wombats today. Not allowing second shots. Mentic, oh, nice feed to Simlink down the lane. His shot is missed, but he tips it up and in. Good second effort there by That's Brian. that pass we wanted before, Chris. That time he completed it to Brian Simlink. Oh, you got to get a hand up on him. Kalu for three. Seaver was just too slow there to get there. Waukesha Tech up one. Hills driving hard to the basket. Looked like the defense got underneath him, but no call. Sheboygan gets it back. Seaver from outside the line. No good. Joel Kalu with the rebound. Kalu drives it right down the lane and lays it up and in. Not good defense that time by Sheboygan. Waukesha Tech up 56-53. A whole lot of reaching going on. Seaver trying to tie it up. Can't get it to go. 
Good call by Don Green. That ball went off of uh, Luke Mills. Zach Watson back in the ball game. Kalouis hit four of his last five shots. Marty he couldn't hit the broad side of a barn in the first 15 minutes of the game. Now Sonny's really hot. Kicks it out to Watson, but I believe he stepped on the line as he went through. Tom Hunick making that call. That's tough. Getting kind of forced out there and then you get forced out of bounds. Well, it doesn't make up for the two slaps Mentic took right here <laughs> in front of us. That went for a layup. Tack. Good job. A uh, leaner. This guy high finish. for the rebound. Mills with a leap and leaner got it to go. His first basket of the second half. Waukesha Tech still up. It's 56-55 though. And we're at 424 remaining in the ball game. I really like it when Luke Mills attacks the basket, but he's getting kind of tired. Hope he has some left for his last four minutes. Blue over to Fisher. That he finally got one to go, a two-pointer. That's just an ugly shot. His first basket of the game. There's a reason. Bullock playing very tight defense on Seaver. Similink's shot is no good. And then Jason Mentink commits a foul. That was an easy one missed there. Ryan liked to have that one back. Oh. He'd probably make that uh, 19 out of 20 times. Three fifty-two and counting. Waukesha Tech up 58-55. Mike Martin along with Chris Wright bringing you the ball game tonight. Good oh, ball nice movement. pass. Nice easy shot for Bullock. He has 14 points. Boyan looks a little tired, Marty. Took a lot to come back in the start of the second half. A lot to come back late here in the second half. Well, they're not as deep either. No. Maybe a rest timeout wouldn't be the worst situation here. Ball is on Eric Bullock, his second. Takes a lot of energy to come back. Oh, you got that right. And then hold that lead. Well, Sheboygan is down five with uh, 320, 329 remaining. <laughs> 14 points for Matt Seaver, going for number 15. He's got it. Sheboygan down three, 60 to 57. Comes the 1-3-1 one, one zone, need a stop, and then another big rebound. They've been so tough on the boards. Kalou from way outside the line, and he's got it. He's been red hot, Marty. Well, I think you're gonna have to come out and guard him, you know, three, four feet outside the line. They're up six. Mills, quick jump shot is no good. Zavachin with the rebound. Oh, behind the back pass to Bullock. His shot is blocked, but being called for the foul, I believe is gonna be Brian Simlink. Oh, make it Luke Mills. Well, just like at the tail end of the uh, first half, they're starting to creep away again, Marty. <laughs> 15 points for Bullock. Don Green stopping the action. Is there an unsportsmanlike act, Coach? I didn't uh, see what that was all about.
16 points for Bullock. Joel Kalu leads uh, Waukesha Tech with 17. Don Green very emphatic making that call on J Caleb Zavachin. That'll be his fourth. Foul was on the floor before the shot was released. Have to earn his two free throws. Could have used a three point play there. Ooh, that would have been nice. Waukesha Tech's lead is cut down to seven. And a great shot of uh, Matt Seaver. Seaver's free throws in and Sheboygan calls a quick timeout with 247. They trail at 65-59. 32nd timeout, so we better keep it here. Obviously, Sheboygan needs a stop on this possession. Well, yeah, and uh, Joel Kalu is the one who's been red hot for uh, Waukesha Tech. That's about the only person. Normally, they've done a very good job allowing just one shot. Now, Sheboygan has. He's about the only one I'd be very concerned about on that outside perimeter. Stay in that 1-3-1 uh, one, one if you choose, but if you're going to, uh, you better get out on that shooter. I was just thinking that with uh, the shot clock, and there's still relative you know, good amount of time with only a six point deficit. They can afford to sit in the zone. Yep, they can. There's lots of game left, 247. It's a lot, just a three possession game by twos or two possession with threes. The one thing that uh, Waukesha Tech would have to do on a uh, common foul is uh, make the first to uh, get the bonus free throw. Sheboygan has only committed 17 fouls so far. Got to stay back, though. Got to stay back. That's the only person you should extend on. That shot you don't mind. That you don't want. Zavachin's shot is no good. Oh. Seaver comes out with it. Sheboygan with a three-on-one break. Seaver crossing over. Jumper in the lane. Got it to go. Wasn't pretty, but it was effective. 65-61, 2.10 remaining, Sheboygan down four. Get back in your zone, sit back, sit back, sit back. Just know where Kalu is. There he is. Hand up. No good, rebound Sheboygan, come on, you've done it all night. And they did it again. Luke Mills, take your time, Luke. Oh, almost an over and back. He didn't establish all over though, Marty. There's an Inside easy one. Inside to Rakowski for two, Sheboygan. Down by two, 65-63, a minute 39, and counting. Same situation, Marty. Don't extend that zone too far, back up. Some tired uh, white shirts out there, but you only gotta play another minute and a half. Hillis with a pump fake, taking it hard to the basket, and got it. Ryan Hillis has seven points in the second half and for the game. Those were two of the biggest. 110, Sheboygan down four. Still lots of time left here. Similink on top over to Rakowski. Almost stolen away. Seaver, high arching shot, no good. Mills bouncing down, he got it. Under a minute, Sheboygan down two. Need one stop and one score and you win. 48, 47 and counting. He is shot 25, clock at 20. Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Timeout, Waukesha Tech with 22 seconds remaining. Full timeout, Scott. Let, take a break. Let us catch our breath. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job. But when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention. But a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. You know, we sing for millions of girls, but helping out in schools, that's the real deal, baby. 
Multiply. I'm the cute one, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever been backstage before? Cause you're the exit. I think you'll find that gravity is key in what I do. Once was one, but now we're two. I'm sitting at a <laughs> 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 You see the clock, we're at 41.7 seconds remaining. Sheboygan trails by two, 67-65. There's 22 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Well, the key here is you gotta play good D. Going to a man-to-man. -man. -to -man. Hillis. Gotta get it. Strong rebound. 25 seconds remaining, no shot clock. Seaver has it. 20 seconds, a lot of time. Luke Mills, please. Luke Mills down the middle, up and in. Tied up. That's what I wanted, Marty, could you tell? <laughs> Good call, coach. How about a foul on that as well? Well, they backed away from him. Yeah. Let's keep it here this time, Scott, even though it's a full timeout. Well, you got what you wanted, Coach. Luke Mills with the ball at the top, and he took it right down 8th Street and laid it up and yeah. in. And it all started with that big rebound. Good patience shown there by the Wombats, not panicking or anything. Plenty of time on the clock there. Swung it around. Uh, yes, Seaver's been hot, but if you want to drive to the basket, Luke Mills has been your guy. Well, you get that little inside-outside threat, you know, it forces the defense to uh, cover a whole lot of ground. And uh, when Seaver got the lane, the defense backed away from him, I thought. And, uh, you know, they didn't do that much in the first part of the game, but uh, kind of forced into it on that shot. Yeah. What is Sheboygan do? I would, change things, I would change things up here right now, and I would pressure the inbound, pressure guys all over, and kind of full walk. So you've always kind of laid back and let things set up. Change things up for eight seconds and put a little pressure on the inbounder here. And uh, see if you can get a steal or something. You know, I would think they're gonna either go with uh, Bullock. Bullock Kalu. or Kalu. But they're not gonna. Bill Simulink, Rakowski, Seaver, and Mentink in the ball game for Sheboygan. It's Kalu, Zavach, and Hillis, and Fisher. If anything, you want Waukesha Tech to go backwards, not forwards. Yeah, exactly. So don't get them catch it running toward you, running it away from you. They already did it. Hills on Kalu, that's a good match up there. Way outside, no good, and at the buzzer, we're going to overtime. What a way to start off the season for us, Coach. Oh, we dodged a bullet, crept back in. I think their idea there was to uh, get a pull shot there, but it just took too long to develop. And the best shot they could get there was a uh, 3A shot. Too, just too slow. Just thought it was a great uh, defensive switch having uh, Luke Mills guard Kalu, you know, good seven, eight inch on, on height, you know, and force yep. him way outside. Tell you what, if I was these uh, Wombats, I'd have a seat. They worked pretty darn hard here. Let's see if they have enough left for the next five minutes. Five minutes of overtime. Uh, the uh, foul situation stays the same. Sheboygan's got the advantage in that respect as they're in the double bonus. Waukesha Tech is not. John Green says if they uh, tie after this, we're flipping a coin. <laughs> isn't, that they, isn't that what they were going to do yesterday at the uh, at the golf event? Yeah. In yeah. South Africa? Pre President's Cup. Yep. I think he must have money on Tampa Bay or the Giants tonight. He wants to get back to random and watch the end of that game. Now Luke Mills can definitely out jump Bullock here. He did get the tap at the beginning of the ball game. Whoop, right. see so yeah, I jinxed him. Well, I don't think so, coach. I think what happened there is you're talking tired now. You know, this isn't the beginning of the ball game, we're talking overtime. And even though Bullock has played a lot recently, he hasn't played nearly as much as Mills. Bullock skying high and got it to go. Well, they get the first one, but there's lots of time left. 20 points. Seaver with a runner. 
We're tied at 69. We'll look with a crossover. Hillis taking it down the lane. Got it to go and he's fouled. Oh, man. Well, what you got there was uh, Raskowski there to uh, lunge there and as soon as uh, that uh, Hillis saw that, he went right to the basket. Good smart thinking there by him. Hillis looking for his 10th ball, 10th point of the ball game. Waukesha Tech up two. Luke Mills with the rebound. I'll tell you what, they bumped Hillis. They better call there. it down there. Seaver got his shoulder down, got it in front of uh, the defender, and took it right to the hoop. We're tied again. I got to call those both ways, Marty. Let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. <laughs> Don't let him shoot either. Kalu right down the lane. No good. Underlay. Simlink with the rebound. We're down to 345 in overtime, the first overtime. We're all tied up at 71. Mentick inside, kicks it back out. Three-point attempt by Simlink is no good. And Rakowski jumping on the back of Eric Bullock commits a foul. Bullock so far in the ball game, Chris has made three out of five. So he hasn't been uh, a sure thing. Still bonus here, Marty. Hard off the board, Simulink with another board. Number 12. I thought it was a Baker's dozen, but I'll take it. <laughs> There's a Seaver, long three. no good, but coming Make through. Make it 13. Right, oh, good play by Luke Mills. Mikowski not able to hang on. Well, he had the defense all jumping on him. Rakowski wide open, but he wasn't able to handle the pass. We're still tied at 71. 305 remaining in overtime. Zavachin stepping on the line. Oh, there was just no place for him to go, and you got big Brian Simlick in there. I don't know what he's thinking there. Under three minutes. How about the lead? Oh, he had him. Seaver was open for a second. But they didn't get him the ball inside. Shot clock down to 12. And nice Seaver play. lays it up and in. <laughs> 25 points for Matt. Get it. Bullock had it stripped away by Mentink, and he can't quite get it. Good hustle by both players. He should have had that one. <laughs> Just kind of flat footed there. A little tired, probably. Fresh feet, he would have had that. Oh, for sure. Bullock. Shot is no good. Oh, no. Zavachin tips it off the board and in. Oh my goodness, I think that hit the wire. Didn't it look like it went up high enough and bumped that wire? When the two white shirts went together up there, Simlick got either an elbow or something up there. But yeah, you're right, the wire's kind of shaking there. Here we go, take a look at it. Oh, it came mighty close. Let's see what happens to Simlick. He got hit, I think, by an elbow from one of his teammates. He didn't go crashing to the floor. Big tip, I'll tell you. She was a dandy, unfortunately. This is one young man they need on the floor. Go, 
We're tied at 73. There's 209 remaining. Sheboygan's ball. He's also your middle guy in the uh, press break. Good job. Patience. Paul Rakowski looked like he had an open shot in the lane, Patience. didn't take it. A dangerous pass. Yep. Zavachin bodying up on Rakowski, commits the foul, and if that's on him, it's gonna be his fifth. Don't want any lollipop passes now, Marty. Should have been his fifth. Table only has him for four. Oop. You gave still it to got, Durr. Yeah, he still has five. <laughs> Mikulski's free throw is off. 147 left in the game. We're tied at 73. Need the lead back here. Got to just make one here now, son. Couldn't get that one to go. Bullock runs it down. Fisher has it. Kalu pump faking, looking for the opening. Good defense by Sheboygan. Shot is blocked by Rakowski. That might have been a pass attempt. Mills has it. Jump shot is off, no Don't good by foul. Brandon Schmall. What and then four. Mikulski commits the foul. What for? Now Waukesha Tech will be in the double bonus, Chris, as Brian Hillis goes to the line. He had a free throw earlier in the overtime that he missed. He'll have two now. Here comes Simlick. He's ready to roll. Hillis pops in the first free throw, and that gives Waukesha Tech the lead back at 74 73. 123 remaining. Got to get Mills. Receiver back to the basket, going, driving to the basket. They haven't done that for a while. Flat shot and tipped out of bounds. I think that went off of Sheboygan. No, 50 it went off of. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't be coughing into the mic. I know. It just blew an eardrum of mine. <laughs> <laughs> that and our five million listeners. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it, and then all of a sudden it still came. <laughs> Waukesha Tech in a zone. Sheboygan working the perimeter. Mills open from 15, from uh, outside the three-point line. His shot is off. And Ben Fisher calls a timeout. Smart play by him. We're at 59.2 seconds. A 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here, Scott. Uh, boils down to what Sheboygan had back at the end of regulation. They need a uh, strong defensive possession. Yeah, minute left, that's, as we found out the last time at the end of regulation, that's an eternity. Lots of stuff gonna happen, three or four series yet. Shot clock is at 32, so that shouldn't be much of a factor for Waukesha. If they do run it down, it means Sheboygan will get the ball with the shot clock off. And Fisher bringing it up. Back off him. Let him stand out there, 23. He doesn't do anything. He's a good passer, good defensive player. Not a good shooter. 10. Kalu gets it deep. Jump shot is no good. Stripped away by Sturzi, and then Sheboygan still comes away with it. They can hold it to the end, Marty. Well, they got to be able to handle it first. Well, Mills was open for a second, but didn't take it. It was a wise choice. Seaver lays it off for Simulink, powers it up. Can't get it to go. Kalu had it, tipped away. Simulink again, got it! With 10, 11.3 seconds remaining. Good hustle. Timeout, Waukesha Tech with 7.3 seconds. 
remaining. Sheboygan up by two. Similink got the shot to go after a wild exchange underneath the basket. I thought he could have been called for an offensive foul. He moved a couple bodies out of there to free himself up for the shot. Why call one now? <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Wow. Took a long time for uh, Waukesha Tech to get that time out, too. I'm hoping Brian can, uh, or pardon me, that uh, Scott can rewind that uh, shot that Similink made before we get back into the action. Just going to say it took forever for them to get to even half court and call timeout. Four seconds went off the clock, so that four seconds that they don't have. Once again, same situation as the end of the regulation. Here you see it. Drive. Watch him muscle out here. Miss. Oh, misses that one. But here, when he gets it back, he pushes somebody. There it is, right there. And he puts it up and in. Of course, Hillis went down pretty easily. Jason Mentek was the key there. He knocked it away. Looked like. Joel Kalua was going to grab the ball and good hustle there. Just poke his hand in there, went right back to Simlick. And Mente heard you on that other one down at this end where he didn't get it, where he was laying on the floor like he was swimming in mud and you're complaining he didn't hustle. Right. <laughs> Same situation here. Let's uh, have Ben Fisher go back into the back court here. Let's have him go backwards here. So here don't overplay here, Ben. Hillis is a guy you want to be careful for. He's at the corner. Perfect. That's perfect. Fisher's got Seaver beat. Lays it off. Shot is short. Tip up, no good. Sheboygan's got it. And that's the ball game. Sheboygan wins it 75 to 74. Wow. Well, just an easy, good drawn up play by uh, Coach Hartman. Easy layup. They had everything set, but he just missed it. And then I thought there was no time. They got a second effort shot there, and it fell short. And Sheboygan with a Unbelievable uh, ball game tonight. Gets the win. Let's take a short break, Scott, and come back and give some of the final scoring and some final com comments from uh, the coach. It doesn't matter who you are or what you drive or where you live. You have the power to give someone the greatest gift in the world, life. Make the decision to be an organ donor. Make the decision to donate life. Good job. Look, it's a giraffe. I don't see it. The less art kids get, the more it shows. Are yours getting enough? Art. Ask for more. Americansforthearts.org. Take a deep breath. It's all going to be fine. write letters to each other a lot. A lot of the notes, they were just really dark. Expressions of anger when he was mad, he hit things. He said something to me about uh, killing himself. You have to take it seriously. The risk is too great. You have to um, try and help them get help. Tell somebody, tell an adult, counselor, parent, whatever. What are you gonna do, let them destroy themselves? I, mean, I don't see much of a choice at all. This is the story about a group of kids who volunteered. Do something nice for someone. We fixed stuff. Did some art projects with the kids. We fixed up his house. We worked in the woods. Cleaned up the park. Did something for the planet. We just did it. No other reason. And you know what? It was great. At first, they didn't know each other. Well, that didn't last long. This guy is really funny. We the Ace are my new friends. Are you into it? Call 4-H or check out our website at areyouintoit.com.
am sick of this. I'm sick of dealing with you. I'm sick of. I work six days a week. Who do you think you are? Don't you ever talk back to me again? You just shut up. What are you crying about? What? What a child learns about violence, a child learns for life. Teach carefully. We can show you how. Act against violence. Call 877-ACT-WISE for a free brochure. In thrilling fashion, the Sheboygan Wombats defeated Waukesha Tech Owls. There you see it by a score of 75 to 74. At the end of regulation, it was Luke Mills who drove right down the lane to lay up the tying basket. That forced a 67 all tie and we went into overtime. And then at the end, with uh, under 10 seconds left, Brian, or right with about 11 seconds left, Brian Simlink muscled a missed uh, lay-in after a loose ball and got it to go. And that made the score 75-74. Uh, Waukesha Tech actually had two nice shots at the very end with about a second left and then got a tip in as the buzzer went off. Neither shot went and uh, the Wombats had their win, and uh, Waukesha, when we watched these teams warm up at the beginning of the game, we thought, man, we're looking at a blowout. Not the case. Well, just of what we heard of how good Waukesha Tech was, a lot of players back, good athletes, and uh, as we said, at the beginning, Sheboygan struggling 0-4, and, and you know, just, as I said, so difficult to get together and you know feel each other out in these two-year programs, and uh, you know eventually it's all gonna start clicking. Maybe tonight was the key. Um, 30 turnovers is By the way, way on your screen there was Brian Simulink, the uh, hero for tonight's game. Yeah, I was just going to say 30 tur turnovers is definitely not what Mike Seafeld wants, and when he looks back will be something they're going to have to work on. Uh, but on a big positive, I said it over and over, for such a good shooting team that Waukesha was, they kept missing, and you only allowed one shot and out, and, uh, you know, that I thought was just a key to the, to the ball game, um, just they attempt shots and they only got one shot, not too many offensive rebounds allowed, and because of it, uh, you know, you got kept yourself in the game. Well, between uh, Luke Mills and Ron Rakowski and Brian Simulink and Carl Gruby and Brandon Schmall, Sheboygan was always able to keep a, a tall front line in the ball game and uh, certainly made a huge difference in the rebounding, especially on the defensive side. Absolutely, and uh, the Dutchman connection down the stretch. Yeah, the, uh, Mills and Simulink. Yeah, we're pretty good. and. Seaver got hot there uh, when you wanted too late in the uh, end of regulation and in overtime and uh, helped propel them to the victory tonight. According to what I have, uh, Matt Seaver really lit it up in the second half. He had uh, 22 of his 25 points in the second half. Uh, Brian Simlink chipped in with 19 and Luke Mills had 15 to lead uh, the Wombats for Waukesha Tech. Joel Kalu there, uh, Ace point guard had 20 points. Eric Bullock, actually their high scorer, according to uh, Coach Hartman, coming off the bench, had 18. And then also chipping in in double figures was Brian Hillis. He had uh, 10 points all in the second half. Uh, there you got Brian Andrews getting us on camera. And uh, my name is Mike Martin for the coach, uh, Chris Wright. Well, before we sign off, Chris says, I got to tell you when our next game is. It'll be uh, next Monday when Waukesha North invades Sheboygan North. And then we've got a couple more games coming up next week. On Thursday, December 4th, Concordia will uh, visit Lakeland on the women's side. And then on Friday, Green Bay Southwest in the opening of the Fox River Valley Conference invades Sheboygan North. So three games coming up next week. Make sure you guys are watching TV8. One more time, Sheboygan Wombat 75, Waukesha Tech 74. So long, everybody, and uh, we'll see you down the road.